Rain screen, which is also referred to as a ventilated facade, is a kind of two-stage construction, an inner structure with a protective outer skin. This skin protects the structure against the elements. With the placing of the insulation on the outer face of the structure, rain screen also meets the challenges of modern construction in terms of preventing thermal bridges, dissipating solar gain, reducing thermal movement of the structure, resisting moisture and humidity, preventing internal condensation. By using our panels as the protective outer skin, we also give the buildings the added feature of looking good. Rain screen is ideal for use in both new buildings and renovation projects. During the years of research, two techniques emerged pressure equalized, which is more common in North America, and the more familiar European drained and vented open joint rain screen. Pressure equalized systems need to calculate the wind has on each facade. These forces are controlled by incorporating baffles in the cavity and the joints in the cladding assembly. This regulates the airflow. This method limits the choice of cladding material and is more complicated to design and construct. The drained and back ventilated technique is the simplest form of rain screen and is favoured in Europe. It consists of a thin impervious flat sheet fixed to a supporting frame which forms a clear cavity between the panels and the insulation. The joints can be open or lightly baffled. The special thing about the drained and back ventilated approach is that the cladding is allowed to leak. Any water that may penetrate the joints and enter the cavity behind the cladding is quickly evaporated through the natural ventilation in the cavity or by draining down the back of the panels and out of the base of the wall. In driving rain conditions, the moisture forms a membrane across the joints which keeps most rainwater on the outside of the panel. Scientific testing carried out by FVHF from Germany has shown that the amount of driving rain that ever reaches the face of the insulation is minimal. The effectiveness of any rain screen system can be checked by standing at the base of a large installation in the driving rain and observing how little water emerges from behind the rain. In addition to the outer skin, a number of other elements need to come together. Starting from the inside, the internal structural wall can be of masonry or lightweight construction. It needs to be airtight and to withstand the wind loads that will be placed on the building. The insulation thick enough to suit the building's function should also be suitable for rain screen use. Ideally, the insulation should be fireproof and permeable to allow any water vapour to pass from inside the building into the cavity. This needs to be securely fixed to the structure and fit tightly around the supporting frame. The supporting frame should be designed to carry the panels and a certain amount of wind loading. This supporting frame is commonly of aluminium, galvanised steel or timber battens. The ventilated cavity should be of adequate size to provide both air movement to evaporate moisture and vapour and a drainage path for water to run down the rear of the panels and out at the bottom of the cladding. Air must be allowed to enter at the base, travel unobstructed up the wall and exit at the top of the building.